What's going on, everybody, and welcome to Wake and Jake, a very special edition with myself, Davis Wimbledon, and the former king of the Bronx, Joe's McFly. Joe's, how are you? I'm doing well because I've come to realizations about stuff. and Now I can just enjoy things and just watch them, and the sports calendar is getting hot come September. Football. Basketball. Basketball, not the Yankees. Messi. You are becoming a soccer guy. I want to I like soccer. Football. Joes, let's talk a little bit of baseball. Okay. But we won't have to talk Yankees at all. I'm pretty sure it'd be a really risky pick. I want to do something. I think we did this in Talking Baseball a year or two ago. Mm. But I think it's funny to do it now because there's a little more risk in play. You, Ooh. myself, and BBD will do a draft of the playoff teams this year and how many wins they accumulate. You know me, I love a good old draft. I don't know if I knew that. I like to start fantasy teams just to draft and then not pay attention. Oh, to you'd be the worst in a fantasy league. You'd I'm be gone. Bad. Like join four of them. You would be one oh five with your lineup saying, "Oh, I didn't set it. I forgot to set it." Would you like to know? I I've been like that this year. All right. Would you like to know my record? No. Twelve and seven. That's good. I have a good team. Fantasy baseball. Fantasy baseball. Company league? No. Dudes league. Dudes league. Your guys. For money. Okay. I put money in. I didn't even pay attention. And I'm 12 and 7. So, where I think this is going to be fun is, as we do it in August 22nd, we're going to do five rounds. That would be 15 teams. Somebody's going to get left out. 14 teams will make the playoffs. So, at least one of the teams won't get into the dance. Never mind. There could be a couple, because right now the NL wild card, there are one, two, three, four, five teams separated by two games for the final two spots. That'll get a little risque. I'm trying to think strat here. I really think there's only one layup pick. And I think something that I've told the people about well, you know what? We'll talk about it in a second. Let's get into it. Do we want to draw numbers? I was considering giving Joe's the first pick. Rock, paper, scissors? That would be awful. Odds and even? <laughs> I'd rather Joe's just pick the order. Uh, Joe's, you pick the order. Flip a coin. What? How would that help pick the order? All right. Before we start, let's go on the DraftKings Sportsbook right now. And play one round of 21 blackjack and see who wins. Odds are even. You get it right. You get the first pick. Okay. My first pick will be. You have to guess odds are even. I don't think you know how this works. Where are you getting the number I've from? I've got it under the table. I don't trust table. that. I. Okay. I'm going to guess. Oddly enough, I'm guessing evens. I was right. You have the first pick. BBD goes second. I'm over it. I think there's a consensus one. <laughs> I almost didn't want to pass it to you. Why? But let's see. Maybe there's not. Well, I mean, the number one overall pick, I have to take chalk. I'm, right. I'm going with the Atlanta Braves here. It's the right pick. It's the only pick. I've Dude, no won. one's even in the same league. They're so good. The Braves are so good this year. I think that I, I was think I was talking to you about what horse should we pick ourselves, right? You know, since the Yanks are kind of out, like to low key root for. I think I think the Braves might be my NL team to watch. Like the only other division that's <clears throat> locked up is the Dodgers in the NL East. Jimmy's posting. Jimmy's through the window right now, and he's showing a picture of Joe's that. that says "ugly." Oh, it's a video. It's a video. I thought it was a picture. And now he looks hot. And now he looks hot. Okay, so that came full circle for you. Okay. That's, um, a, that's a good vid for you. Are the Braves going to win the World Series? That's my pick. 
And I know it's so easy to pick a team that's so far ahead, but they do so many good things well. Such a full roster. Yeah. They, I mean, they pitch well. They hit well. Um, they have power. Got a good pen. Great pen. You know, it's like there's so much uh, to love about that. That team is the most complete team. Now Jimmy's got a picture of me looking ugly. Um, yeah, I, I think we move on. Braves are the only... Braves are the only team that is really head and shoulders above. Every yeah. other team has a good conversation. The Braves are the favorite. They're going to win their division. They're the favorite in their league. Every other team is a mess. And BBD, I'm very interested to see where you will go with the second pick. Mm. Second pick is kind of out there. Second pick's actually It's kind of out there. I do think there is a firm, the team... That that I will pick second. They are between the amount they are locked into the playoffs, playoff experience on the roster, mm. uh, trustability. They've been going for a while. Yeah, I'm picking the Dodgers second. It's kind of crazy where the Dodgers are right now, considering that they were like trying to figure it out all year. Now right. they're up we, by twelve. We've been Jake and I specifically have been going out of our way for weeks to notice that the Dodgers are going, and it's still. On the whole, has snuck up on everybody. Yeah, how, just how good their record is this year, and it's wild. They're for, here again. For a chunk of this season, they didn't have a rotation, and now they do. Mm -hmm. Kershaw, Lynn, Urias, Bobby Miller. Who knows if uh, Bueller comes back at some point? Even their bullpen, which looked thin at some points, like there, they are in a lot better spot. And dude, with Mookie and Freddie. You get enough of a lineup, and that's yeah. before you get to Will Smith, Muncy. It does get funky, though. It does. There's some funk there. But, but actually, they love it. It's full platoon. If you want lefties, they've got Peralta, Hayward, Outman, Bush. If you want righties, they've got Rosario, Taylor, Kike. And they love platoon. They love Remember it. when they lost the World Series to the Red Sox because they were platooning their best players? Yeah. I platooning MVP belly. I don't know. That was strange. He's yeah, had a great had, year this year. He's been awesome. They've got uh yeah. So you're going down as long as two two of those guys are fully going by playoff time and, and with the guys in that role they can figure out matchups and late subs and, and they all play so many different positions. Um I feel good about their ability to go win a playoff game. National League is so interesting. And they are the team that I feel the best about winning a playoff game. They're in that tier, and then they're in the most locked-in spot outside of the Braves in both these categories mm. uh, to be there. Yeah, I mean, it's... Again, I think, I think the conversation gets interesting. They... Oh my God, Charlie Olive series hammered. Just got lunch with He's Jerry. So Blevins. hammered. Oh my God. He Is everybody interrupting? The show Everyone's jealous of Waking Jake right now. Um, Dodgers probably were the two. Yeah. Just because they have a track record, they have locked up their division. But with the Braves there, Braves are one. And there's a chance for early I don't exits. know. Never mind. You might hear about the Phillies later. I will go third and fourth. Yes. The wraparound. The wraparound. My own show. The, the last pick. Last pick is low-key yeah. good. Like, but good. after after this set of picks, you'll have made the most picks. Yes. Because the AL. Texas has sneaky been struggling for a bit. Tampa has a lot of shit going on. Seattle's hot, but they're in by a game. Baltimore, one of the best records in baseball. Are you taking Baltimore? Why does nobody believe in Baltimore? Because I think when it comes to October, experience is the thing. I'm not saying that they can't do it, but experience is the thing. And... The vets, oh, most most vet players and teams, it feels like 
Who are you got to get a taste of it, and then you kind of figure out. Kyle Gibson. Sounds in there. Jack Flaherty, Jack Flaherty would count at this point, right? He would. Santander. Cedric Mullins at this point. He's almost 29. Yeah. yeah. Adam Frazier. Okay. Might not play. Mm. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Baltimore. Okay. I'm going to take Baltimore. I think it's a safe pick. I think their record will have them avoid the wild card round. So they at least get a five game set. I think they can win a five game set. Mm hmm. Definitely. Um, and man, they've been really, really good, and everyone still doubts them, which for a young bunch of players, I, I like that. Okay. I like that, at least for a little bit. But then I've kind of got a swing big. Because that doesn't... The Orioles could have a good postseason and not win the World Series. Very true. Who are you taking on the wraparound? This determines a lot for me, Jake. So I need you to like... I'm between two teams. And I think you're going to pick one of them and make my choice for me on the next. But I'll, okay. I'll be surveying. There's a team mm. I like a lot. Okay. I'm going to go with the Seattle Mariners. Ah, I wanted the Mariners. The I Mariners. did want the Mariners. Maybe it's a little too much recency bias. W7. Their run differential number is starting to get into a good place. I think they've found their stride. They're confident against Houston. They got a taste of the playoffs last year. They can pitch and pitch and pitch and pitch. J-Rod. And they have a star. They can J-Rod. So... I don't know. I think this is where the draft gets interesting because any of these teams, you have to start getting a little kooky on the arguments because this team played Houston last year in the wild card round. Yes. And they lost 0-2 and out. Yes. But I don't know. I, I like the team. I like where they're at. I'll, uh, I'll get two AL lotto tickets. Okay. Mm. It's interesting. I said I was picking between two. Thought for sure mm-hmm. you were taking one of them. And you didn't. So I still have to choose between Oops. those two. I hope I get these guys back to back. I didn't think they would get to me in the third, but I would have liked to have the Mariners available to me in the third round. Mariners are like a sweetheart pick. It's a it's a swing. It's a swing. It's a swing. I believe in them as well. And I also believe in two other teams in that division. I think I, I think I'm picking the Houston Astros. Okay. I know we, you know, part of what we stumbled into on the most recent wake and Jake is they're they're no they're not necessarily as locked in as Houston typically is to to be in the dance. Um, although they're a game and a half back of Texas as we record this. Yeah, mm. Seattle two games back. They're all three of them are very tight right now. The division Houston has been there, done that literally last year. They their season begins in the ALCS every year. The odds on this bet wouldn't be awesome, but I think it just sh- shows how late in the season it is, but also not. Yeah, if you gave me the option of Houston and Seattle to win the division or Texas. I'm easy Houston or Seattle. Mm-hmm. And that's messed up, man. Texas yeah. has been... And, we, and we've enjoyed Texas all year. We're generally high on them. They've There's been, an experience thing there too, man. There's like a muscle memory to winning the division with them. It just feels like dog days of August. To getting to the Rangers. Like how many teams are feeling the dog days of August right now? Yankees, different story. The Texas Rangers feel like they're feeling the dog days of August. Um, that's who you're taking? I've taken the Houston Astros. He's taking the Houston Astros. And that's fine. The good thing about the dog days of August is that they end when September starts. Okay. And I think that um, 
you going through that kind of turmoil or you're going through that wilderness will get you to the promised land. I still have belief in the Texas Rangers. Okay. And Is that I a think, full AL West round? And I round think two a, was straight West. A- <laughs> round yes. two, AL West. And it was picked in reverse standings <laughs> order. <laughs> a huge reason why is the horse that they acquired yeah. from the Mets. Max Scherzer has been nails. It's the bad man. And if he can continue doing that, then that team has a leader to be able to take him there. Now, with the absence of DeGrom, they wish to do it ahead of DeGrom, get, get better. But their offense can bang, and they're pretty dynamic offensively. And I think that that stuff will start clicking cup September. It's better to have your lulls in August, peak into September, or start peaking into September and start and be hot when you get into October. I'm going Texas Rangers. I mean, at this point in the draft, it seems to make a lot of sense because yes. the other the other thing about I feel two, like it's a steal almost. Th- well, the two things, the two teams you just mentioned, division rivals. One thing, obviously, Houston has all the experience. Yes, if they go to the World Series. This. The graphic that our social team will come out with will be laughable because it's like, well, Houston, second round, how they do this every year. What right. are we doing? Um, the other thing is these those two teams are so talented that if either of them finish with a, you know, a ten and four going into the playoffs, everyone's gonna be like, oh boy, mm-hmm. got hot at the right time. Hot. Are they clicking? Houston finally clicked. Um. Texas has clicked. Um, and yeah, man, Scherzer. Yeah, the the you know, we talked about experience and stuff and sure this Rangers franchise. Yes. Not the most experienced, and there's a lot of guys on the roster that sure this will be their first taste of the playoffs, but they have a lot of dudes who have done playoff runs. Simeon with the with the A's has yeah. been in the playoffs. Corey Seager's Seager. a World Series MVP. I'm an experienced guy. I and mean, even even Hedges was on these Cleveland teams that appeared in the postseason. Scherzer, we've seen Jordan Montgomery have a good playoff game. Really good last night as we record this. Bruce Bochy, I like he's it. got World Series. So they're for a team in this position, they have a ton of postseason experience among the roster, I, want, I believe, in a lot of what they do. I want Scherzer to continue to be really good, so it's like post-deadline Scherzer. Yeah, yeah like it's a, a thing. video game. Trade for Scherzer. Will Smith and Chapman have... Playoff oh, stuff. Chapman has a certain Chapman. connotation yes. around him. You still talk to Chapman? Um, DM him right now. Right now? Say what's up. Go easy on my Yanks. I do think he got hit last night. Yeah, Diamondbacks. Got 32 pitches, last night. blown save. On so the, maybe don't. Don't? Maybe wait for the right moment. Wait it out. So that's the end of round two, Joe's McFly. Yes. Round three, we cleared the AL West in round two like we planned. Yeah. Where are you going to go? I Okay. Okay. There is something and I'm a big time run differential guy. Are you? I am because I believe I'm mid that on it. I, I like it more than I used to. I think there is something to you not only scoring a lot of runs but also preventing runs. Uh, as well, so I think that that Analytics. gives you, you know, it just I think it is a really good solid mix. predictor. Yes, it is. Um and you could tell if a team is a pretender or a contender because of those. So with that and experience, I'm going back to the AL Ace and I'm taking the Tampa Bay Rays. The team's in turmoil because of the whole Wander Franco thing, which we won't talk about right now. Cause. But I'll tell you something about the Rays. They know how to do a little with a lot mm. or a lot with a little. Sorry. Yes. They know how to do a, a lot, lot with, with a with little. A little. I know it's a little They know how to maximize on things. And there's plenty of times, whether it's people being hurt, whether it's people out of the lineup, whether that they found ways to just bring them in and keep the cog moving. And a lot of teams would love to be like them. Um, and they have that playoff experience as well. They have the right dogs in there. Randy Rosarena. Randy is a dog and loves the big moment, does not shy from it. I'm going Tampa Bay Rays. I mean, it's obviously a good pick. You mentioned the run differential. Um, and their playoff formula is still there. And even 
slightly better than usual. Like Glass yes. now. Glass now, Zach Eflin, Savale. Mm-hmm. There's three. Their bullpen is kind of back, which that's always scary with the Rays. And yeah, man, it's just how much are they going to hit? Um, both lows, the two lefties, mm. circle them. Um, Low and low. Josh Lowe is gross. Really Dude, his good. homers he hit at the stadium that just like kept traveling, and you're like, what? Left, lefty. That's why you put lefties in Yankee Stadium. Powerful lefty at the stadium. He had one, I think, was it last year where he hit like a two homer game? Maybe this year. Well, this year too. But last year he had like these two homer games that were both, I think it was over. 800 and um, something feet, 860 feet or something like that. It was insane. He's a beast. He's a beast. It's a good pick, Joe's. Good value there. Like it. Go figure it out. The kid who's been filling in with Wander out at shortstop wasn't in my book before. Don't know if you've seen the name on oh, that yeah. bad boy. I've got him. It's been hitting pretty well. Mm. That's what the Rays do. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Oslavis Basabe. I got to see the name. He's Dominican. He's up. He's, He's been up. up seven games. How's he doing? 286, 355, 378. That's a four just, seven forty eight OPS. They just figure it out, man. I they can turn they the can team, plop a guy in there that'll do that'll that do team all right. Always figures it out. So much respect for them. Hope they get a new stadium. So I really smart. root for that, honestly. Luke Rayleigh's awesome. Where are you going, babes? <sighs> My third round pick, as I th- think we're passing the halfway point of the draft. Uh, I'm really happy this team is available to me. Mm. A team I really believe in. I've historically really believed in. Yeah. Uh, might might be locking into them a little more as the season winds down and our Yanks are less involved. Uh, I am thrilled to take the Philadelphia Phillies. Ah, that kinda, I wanted that pick. Yeah. That's a good pick. I'm starting to really get concerned about ha- taking the three pick. Um, because the early value and now it feels like there's a little bit of a cliff. I mean, the Phillies, they're, they're writing the same story. They're feeling pretty good. They did yeah. a run last year. They've now seen it. A little wild card. I love Bryce Harper. I love, I love Bryce, Bryce Harper. Harper. Love Bryce. He's such, he's such a gamer. Um, love Harper. Topper, big, big topper guy. Mm, sure. The rotation's still... They can put together a playoff rotation. Yeah, I did want to look at. They're in a good let's spot. See right what our now, Phillies man. are doing, man. They're just kind of like top ten and everything, closer to ten. But who? You talk about lefties, Schwarber, Harper. I like to see this team play at the stadium. Mm. We can Bryce, moan it out, Bryce and Snot. Wheeler, Nola, Taiwan Walker, and Lorenzen. Craig Kimbrell putting together another season. Sure. Yeah. Dirty Craig. Alvarado, Soto, Sir Anthony Dominguez. They're going to be there. No Ranger Suarez. Strange like hamstring. Um, yeah. It's Christopher I mean, Sanchez. Kids have been good. They feel like they're running back the same thing. Same thing. Um and that's where I think this part of the draft gets a little fun because you're right with run differential, Joes. That shows a team's merit of what they did. Mm-hmm. But for a team like the Phillies, I think they see that clean slate. And they go, all right, good They're, job, Atlanta. Yeah. You but guys you guys killed it. Even their run diff is not even bad. It's just not bad. Atlanta's is godly. Rare. So they're leading it's just the what way. it is. It's just rare. They're Texas good. had been like a, a mile ahead of a lot of teams yeah. in that stat. Uh, the A's have long passed them. Yeah. So I have some good news. Okay. For myself. I still have one team I'd wanted that I kind of believe in. I'm going to take the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, I think they are a team that has the playoff recipe, Mm -hmm. high-end starting pitching. Corbin Burns is awesome. Freddie Peralta has been 
one of the best pitchers in baseball lately. Brandon Woodruff is pitching some big games. So there's your three. On the back end, you've got Devin Williams. They're a team that always puts together bullpen. I guarantee you Abner Uribe is pitching in a big spot this year. That guy is a freak show. And, man, their lineup is very Brewers. It's very Brewers. Mm. But they can still do something. Very Brew Crew. Know what? This this lineup can get you three or four. (laughs) And Corbin Burns and Devin Williams... (laughs) <laughs> they can hold you to two. Yeah. And that's kind hmm. of the game. So yeah, they play a race to four every night. <laughs> I'd like to see a little more from their offense as they go. I talked about this last time. Um, you know, Santana and Canna are MLB at bats. Willie Adamas hasn't gone yet. Rowdy Telez just came back. So they can check some boxes that'll get you excited. Yes. Taking it to the next step. Um, I was hoping to get the Brewers in this draft. I don't know where I was hoping to get them. I do like the Phillies a lot more, a pick before. It's a good pick. Would have been nice to go Phillies Brew Crew, but... I think that's a good back-to-back. It's a good back-to-back. It's a good back-to-back. I'm worried for my picks right now. This is... We've officially hit ugly territory. Because I think Beans... And we're, we're officially, from this point forward, picking teams that... You might be expecting them to not make the playoffs. There's really only one more lock to make the playoffs, and it's a team with some of the worst playoff success we've seen <laughs> in recent history. Um, let's see. I've got to go with... Did you pick Phillies? I picked Phillies. He oh, picked, picked Phillies. Phillies. Yes. Okay. I picked Brewers. Brewers I'm starting round his... four. Yes. <sighs> Golly. Um. I'm gonna go high risk because I think I'd rather go down with this team than that team. Ah. I think there's two teams that stand out. Okay. One team's got good momentum. Mm Mm-hmm. They also have high-end talent. Come on. You know you believe in them, Jake. Just take them. The other team is a very big case of if not now, when? Mm. And I'm going to believe in it. You're taking them over... Well, okay. I am going to take the Toronto Blue Jays. They Mm. could not be invited to the party. They're a game out right now. And the team ahead of them is Seattle. And the team ahead of them is Houston. Mm. So, you know, I'm... Seattle, who is my number two pick... That's your darling. There's some risk there. They could be cannibalizing each other. As I said, I mean, I think I like Seattle more than Texas the rest of the way. Okay. Well, they have a very easy schedule as well. They haven't. Seattle has an easy schedule. Yeah. I'm going to go with Toronto, man. If they get in a dance, in the dance, again, it's just if not now, when? Mm -hmm. And, man, look at their stat page, man. Starting pitching ERA is third. Relief pitching ERA is fourth. Seventh in average and on base. Like, on paper, like if we ran the MLB The Show simulation right now, I think this Toronto team does really well. They just got to make the party. Yeah, they got to make... And even if they make the party, they got to win a three-gamer and they haven't proved anything, but I don't know. I'll go down with the ship. I'm interested in that pick. That pick's interesting. Okay. They've done a lot of talking in the past. They have, haven't they? They have. I think it's time to back it up. Hmm. Get in the playoffs, and then you figure it out. Gossman? Yes. Bassett? Barrios? Ryu is back? Kikuchi has been lights out lately? That's five. Don't even need that many. Hmm. I don't know. 
That's good. The talent's been there. To be honest, this part of the draft, you're looking for the value. You're looking for some upside. You're looking to, first of all, you're trying to get in the playoffs right now. Right. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to be the one to pick early a team that's not. If you're the first team to pick a team that's out. Which I think. Yeah. You know, I, I was trying to figure out who my pick would be here, and, and uh, I, I was between the team I'm about to pick and the Blue Jays, uh, hope, hoping, again, you would pick one, and that makes my decision for me, and you did. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, Blue Jays definitely high risk, high reward like that. The team I'll be picking among the teams in the hunt for an NL wild card spot I think I believe in the most to ultimately get one of them. We'll see how the seeding works out. Mm. Um, and I I am picking the Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Of the teams left, they're the team I think is most likely to be in the dance. I wanted them bad. I was hoping that it'll drop there, that you'll go somewhere else. Yeah. I was hoping that you something will catch your eye in the AL. Um, Blue Jays are the only one that could have. Some numbers around the Cubs. We know about their two top starting pitchers. Uh, we believe in them. That's a formula for the postseason. Their lineup for the season is uh, a top 10, close to like a top seven lineup, depending how you slice those numbers, what you like, what you don't like. Um, the top end of that's really good. Even guys like a guy we like, Mike Talkman, have, have contributed a Mike lot. Mike Talkman. Uh, left Jamer Candelario, really big pick. rental at the deadline. Bonus piece there. It has worked out so far. Even their bullpen, the overall bullpen numbers won't scream to you. They're fine, uh, but they're good guys in the bullpen. Your your Al's Alize, your your uh, even Julian Merriweather, Mark Leiter has turned in some good stuff. Uh, Javier Assad has turned in some good yes. performances in the, in the mini swing man type role. Even Fulmer, yeah, after a brutal start to the year, has done some good Assad stuff. So there's enough. Handsome. There's enough bullpen there for that, me. That is an a formula to win games. Extremely high value pick, and I'll tell you why. I wanted them so bad, and I thought that they would drop to me. Hopefully, because. There's number one. Their story is awesome. They went from mm. almost about to sell to now they're contenders. I actually think that they're going to come back and they're going to win the central. They're right there, and I'm looking at their schedule. You're a run differential guy. Not only that, yes, I am. I'm a run differential guy, but they have to end this month off of August and heading into September. They got three games against the Brew Crew. Looked at that Bellinger's on fire like all year he's yeah. been good um playoff experience playoff man. experience as well so i like the cubbies to complete their you, story you just don't like in hap i like hop as well um i'm just thinking they have a great mixture of a lot of different things uh going on good vibes and uh i think they're gonna go into september in first place um Belly stats man Mm. All right. Cody right. Bellinger, 322, hmm. 370. What a great year. 925 OPS. How about a bet on yourself? Yeah, the Cubs, the Cubs was the other team I was between on. Yeah. Um, they're going to need Stroman to come back and look like Stro. Yeah. Steele's been awesome all year, and I... The only concern there would be how many bullets does he have left in the chamber, especially if they're competing down the stretch. Right. Because, you know, he doesn't have a lot of big boy inning pitch seasons, but... Yeah. But he's not a, he's not a baby. He's 28. Oh, I'll tell you, the lineup, man. It's a very full lineup. If you can keep Mike Talkman in that one spot, or up top, I guess it doesn't matter. Talkman, Horner, Hap, Bellinger, Swanson, Seiya Suzuki... Jamer, Christopher Morell. I don't care who you got catching. That's eight. I haven't there's not a lineup a lot of lineups that go that deep. October mm. in Wrigley if they win the division. Some team of destiny stuff. Good pick, BBD. Joe's. Final the other two hand. picks. 
You get two here. I get two. So you get to pick a... But I want to pick two really good ones here. Um, I don't know if you're going to get that. There's a team we all like. I don't know if you're going to get that here. Like You don't want us to get... I want to pick a hot team. team right here with this pick. Um, I think it's a team that's... That actually goes against my model right now. The whole run differential thing. But I just love their vibes. Um, I love Corbin Carroll. I'm going with Jake Snakes. And I am taking the Arizona Diamondbacks here. Um, I'm looking at their remaining schedule. I'm looking at some, you know, some of the teams that they're facing as well. Um, I like... I like what they're facing. I mean, they. I think they only have Dodgers, Baltimore. I mean, assured playoff teams. Um, San Francisco, Houston, left. Cincy is in there. One other team. Um. Are you going snakes? I'm going snakes. So that happened. Snakes. That happened 100%. I, I love the snakes. Pick. Took the snakes. Took Jake's snakes there. They're I think just it's crazy <laughs> enough to do something. <laughs> yes. If they get to the playoffs, I feel like they'll play a good brand of ball. Then yes. They're only a half game out. Steel they're wins. a scary game. They're, yeah. Eight and two in their last 10 right now. They're, they're hot. Um, Any guy that gets on, you're facing them. You're just Zach Gallon for off. one. You know, could be your NL Cy Young winner. I've seen Merrill Kelly pitch big games. Sure. Team USA. The next one's tough for me. The next one's tough for me just because. You're it's, a logical man. Yeah, it's just, I, it's, this team will make it to the playoffs. They're right. going to make it. Right. It's you don't just, think they're going to win. Come on. I just don't. Buy it, and I'm sorry, Trevor Plouffe, but the Minnesota Twins, I'm taking them, and I'm open to be being surprised since now they're Team Joe's. But are they cursed? Well, the Yankee, you know what? Yeah. I'll tell you this: no Yanks. Twins, there's no Yanks in these playoffs now, right? So you can make some noise. You can figure it out. You won't have to see the 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 boogie bear. That's not a thing. I think it's a boogeyman. That's what I said. We won't have to see them. Check we won't the have face. to see the boogie bear. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not, man. <laughs> Let's go, Keikel. Are you back? Stop. Don't. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> hey. But I if think this that wasn't I... the twins. If we didn't say see the name Minnesota Twins. Pablo Lopez. Yes. Sonny Gray. Yes. Maeda, Bailey Ober's been really good. I'm just going to say the Central. You like Duran? Yeah, I like I like Duran. You like Duran. I like Duran. Yeah. I like Duran. He's awesome. He's awesome. In the pen. I, I will say this. If not, that's another if not now then when team. Because yeah. they just feel, they're, I feel like they're almost in the same boat as Toronto. Like you're, you're always in the playoffs. You know, every so often. And it doesn't feel like you make noise when you get there. Um, last year, you had a lot of expectations. You didn't make it. This year, you're in the front. I mean, in, in the front runner seat for you're gonna win the, the Central. They're locked into win, getting into the playoffs. Yeah. And, like, and they've lasted to the last round. You got to do something here. Can you get out of that first round? It's going to be tough because you're facing one of these wild card teams. That are kind of better than that are better than you, but will you figure it out and get out of that that three round? I I hope so. Minnesota wins. It's the right pick. It's yeah. yeah. It's I was, the right pick. Yeah, I, w- I would have picked them with my next pick if they were here. They need Correa to go, man. Yeah. Which hey, come playoff time, yeah. am I worried about? For like it's for true. the twins, am I worried about him? No, not at all. He's, Maybe he'll get hot. Come, I, I um, believe in him. Come to, September, I believe in him to know what time of year it is. Right, you know, you know Eddie Julian he knows. Max Kepler. 
Okay. It was the right pick. You did the right thing. For a wrong man. But I waited for the last possible time to get them. You did. You got the best value on them you were capable of getting. BBD, now this is a fun one. This is a fun one. I don't know. The other reason I was sort of excited to potentially be able to take the Twins is to get a little more ALNL balance in my team. Mm. I'm currently rocking Dodgers, Astros, Phillies, Cubs. That's a good point. And they were the last AL team I think I would have really considered. Not a Sox Um, guy, huh? Not... Really a Sox guy. I will say I've been speaking positively about that roster most of the season. They were my pick to have a surprise April, surprise April. that was maligned by the comments. Um, mm. So I don't not believe in them, but I certainly don't believe in them to overtake all the teams ahead of them, including Toronto. Um, so that means I have to go back to the NL. There's... Theoretically, four teams you could pick. If you want to have a lot of fun, there's one pick. Mm. Mm. I will be picking the Giants. I, I And I do believe in their ability to win games once they get to the playoffs. They're smart organization. They know how to manage things. And they've been pretty firmly in the playoff picture, although... They dropped from the second wild card to the third wild card since I've last looked at some standings. Mm. But um, they are a franchise I believe in and and think does things the right way and smartly uh, and knows how to win a game and game plan for a series. We love their coaching staff. Uh, I'll be I'll be picking the Giants. Okay. Giants are fascinating. If they get in the dance, it's an ugly team to play. You've got Logan Webb, who's one of the better pitchers in baseball. Uh, Alex Cobb is solid. Their bullpen is funky and good. Joe, do you like Doval? I do. I do, too. Nasty. They got the Rodgers freaks back there, twinning from both sides. Mm. Ugh, their numbers are almost identical. Yeah. ERA wise. I'm worried that they've been, man, they've been in scramble mode with their pitching staff for a while. Yeah. They're calling up the kid, Kyle Harrison, which, hey, if he's like a wonderkin or something, you could be looking at the Giants very differently. Biggest pitching prospect they've called up since Mad Bum. Their lineup is so funky. Um, Weird crew. Hasn't really been working. 21st in runs, 23rd in OPS. Um, They've been in the playoffs. I've been getting worried about the Giants. Um, But at this point in the draft. Yeah, you got to take what you I, can take. You know, there's only so many choices. They're the team of the teams remaining, I believe, in the most to be there. And if you're wrong, you're wrong. I think the rest of my draft... Is uh, I I really believe in the rest of it. So basically, for me, the final pick, bad move. It's Boston. Whoa! In the Yale, or it's Cincinnati, who's a game out. Miami, who's a game and a half out. Or, really, the only other deep cut left would be the San Diego Padres. Mm. Boy, if they get there. If they, they have run differential. Um, it's going to be tough. In my head, it's between Miami and San Diego. I think if Miami gets in... As the opposing team, you're just ready for nightmare at bats. Like Sandy and Yuri Perez. Yes. Like, okay, so we just... Our our 162-game season is going to come down to us facing these absolute freak shows. Braxton Garrett has been really good. Jesus Lazardo. I remember they added a ton at the deadline. d Rop. Yeah. How about that? I do you have who who I don't think's been very good for them besides facing the Yankees. 
Um, and their whole, all of their mm. deadline moves I loved. Josh Bell is there now. Jake Berger has been raking. Jazz Chisholm. That's one of the teams that are kind of going through like a little lull right now that I think will come out of it. They could turn it back on yes. September and get in. Because I, I, I believe in what's going on pitching staff-wise. From what I've seen, um, I, Marlin, Mar- Marlins are an interesting pick. Marlins could sneak in there. Milwaukee, St. Louis. Screw it. I'm not doing San Diego for the click. I just don't currently believe in them, although I want to. I'll go Miami. I'll go Miami. You know what else could be really sneaky if Miami does get in? Fifth in batting average. A lot of that's Luis Arise. Mm. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. Batting average can play in October. For one it day. will it will it will yeah. play that'll win I don't need a game because what's a walk in October Joe a walk is a rally by the way speaking of batting average Jake Berger 373 in 18 games since coming over don't think that number is gonna hold up but that dude hits man Damn. It's, it's such a good what ad. a good pickup I mean his OPS on the year is 841 he's been hitting all, he was the only person hitting on on Chicago besides Robert. You took the Red Sox? They traded him for minor leaguer Jake Eater. Jake for Jake. Jake, you took the Red Sox? I didn't. I took I took the fish. Jake Eater not lighting it up this year. Jake Berger would be the best hitter on the Yanks. Righty, doesn't matter. Jake uh Burger. Joe's, who's your final team? You took Atlanta. I have Atlanta. I have the Rays. I have Texas. Got a good squad there. That's not bad. That's a good squad. A top three. Those are the three like power players of the season. This yes. Year um, at different points. I have. All three of those teams at some point this year said we're the best team in baseball. Right. Yes. Very true. I think. I have. Um, I wish I would have gotten the Cubs. Did not get we the did Cubs. did not get the Cubs. With the record. I got a, Arizona. Snakes. Um, and the Twins, right? And the Twins. It's not bad. It's not bad and at then all. And you got a safe one and a risky one at the end. I actually think all my teams will make the playoffs. Hmm. Yeah. Texas will make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Minnesota will make the playoffs. Um. If this was ESPN and a like radio radio producer yelled at me to like say a hot take, I think it would be Texas not making the playoffs. That would be insane. I don't believe. I don't think I, I believe. Don't in actually, it. believe. I don't think it. I believe in it. But you believe in that more than most people. I mean, to not right. make the playoffs or to not win the division. That's because that's two. I feel like that's two different. Th- wow. I mean, they're not that far they're ahead. They're not of the that wild, far, yeah. bro. For the how good they've been, tight. it is tight. It's going to be fun. Yeah. I believe in them and everything. But yeah. They have, there's a chance. But that's like you're saying, well, you're, be, you got Toronto. That's why. That's what you want to happen. I'm, a, I'm, I'm currently more biased than I've ever been. You, you have, need that, one, I just figured you need it out. one of those two just to fall figured, out. I just figured it out. He's got Toronto. He's got Seattle. Right. But you literally need one of those two to fall out. Does he have Houston? I have Houston. BBD. So he wants, yeah, that's what he wants. He wants the Astros to win the division, for Texas to fall all the way out of it, and for the rain for the Rangers, for Toronto to sneak in. I think there's a world. I don't want that to happen. BBD, you have the Dodgers, Houston, Phillies, Cubs, Giants. I I do truly. Ooh. Believe in my You've five teams. You've got a teams. fun draft. My five teams, I, I believe in being there. You've got a draft that can wreck brackets. How about that? When playoff brackets, when you got to make them? Yeah. Yeah. Those, those top three teams I've got are sort of the three, like, oh, I forgot about them. When you, like, when you like get, when 
as an opponent, you get to, oh, we have to match up with them. I guess the only part. Those only guys part are still here. You've got last year's World Series, right? Mm-hmm. And the Dodgers could end up, let's say the Braves are a wagon wagon. Yeah. Dodgers could There's end up getting hurt. There's a chance they underperform. Because they win their DS. Yeah. I'm, I'm NL then heavy. they get rolled. You're NL heavy, but that's not a bad place to be. It's not a bad yeah. place. One to be. of those teams I'd that rather... eats out besides Atlanta. Yeah, I would like the I would like the comments to let us know who they think has the best draft. Well, I think they're leaning they might me. Let us know. No, definitely not. Definitely because not. got the powerhouses, baby. You don't think they're leaning? You don't think the people are with me? I've got the memos. Baltimore, Seattle. So two AL flyers there. Mm. Seattle so, at two is kind of like, whoa, you really The draft that. turn, man. You got to take what yeah. you believe That's in. That's fine. It was a pivot point. It was. Toronto. Okay. So three AL fishing tickets there. I took the Milwaukee Brewers, who I do like. I'm happy with that pick. I'm I'm them, I wanted them. I'm them over the Cubs. Okay. You made your argument. Yes. But I I believe in the Brewers more than the Cubs. And then And that's fine to say. And then They're let's be honest, Miami's a chuck. Yeah. Miami's By definition, a chuck, at, at least one of the teams we have here is just gonna not be in the dance. And you had the last pick, so. I want San Diego, man. Why don't they win? The extra inning number, stupid. Being able to win is a big part had a little of, bit of a tough winning year to playoff start. games. Machado was bad and hurt the first, like, two months of the They're year. They're playing Miami but, right But I think now. since he came back, he's been good. Sound off in the comments. What? Let's go. What what does what does everyone think the mean comment about their their drafted team is going to be? The mean comment. I mean, my yeah. draft is tough. I feel like I got tiered twice. I already know. For me, if we were going to say, "Oh, Joe's he chose it choosing chalk," you think they're going to come chalky at you? Like be a, like, you're not going to get. Twins. Where's the maybe, imagination, maybe, Joe's? Maybe your team's already peaked. Mm. Huh? You pick too many favorites, Joe's. There's a chance three of your teams aren't in. You've got <laughs> a lot of faves. BBD's got a lot of sex C picks. I've got a lot. I of think them. I think mine are going to be considered kind of. I'm surprised you guys are calling them this this sexy. Like I I think they're sort of meat and potatoes. Like Dodgers are going to be there. Astros, the most on the verge of not being there. They've been in a if long time. If the Astros time. weren't the Astros. If the Astros weren't the Astros, I don't think I'd That pick would believe. feel a lot riskier. Yeah. Just had a team meeting. Team be charging from behind. But the, the amount I do believe in the Phillies is, like, that. that's a real, right. like, I really do believe in them. Yeah. Uh, Me too. Cubs, I kind of really Houston do believe in Houston and Philly too. can't do it again, right? I like the Phillies a lot. They could. That's baseball. Go nuts in the comments. Go follow Joe's McFly. Follow me. On threads. I, yeah, too. You can follow there, too. That slowed down quick, huh? That was... If you're, if you're on the follow train, I could follow everywhere. Just don't offer something newer than... Twitter or X. <laughs> hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate we'll, it, guys. We'll be back, maybe. Love you.